It is a hockey holiday here at the NHL as it is officially Frozen Frenzy Day. All 32 teams hit the ice tonight and we have a special edition of 3 to Watch presented by ProLine Plus for you. Today, it's 4 to Watch and I'm your host, Anna Dua. Let's dive into four key matchups on tonight's massive 16-game slate. To kick things off tonight, the Toronto Maple Leafs take a trip down to Washington, D.C. to face off against the Caps. William Nylander has been on a heater to start the season with four goals and nine points in his first five games, including at least one point in every single game. He had two goals and 14 shots on goal in three games against the Caps last season. Nylander's line mate John Tavares is also off to a hot start with nine points in five games. Alex Ovechkin and his Caps hope to finally find some momentum in this one, as just last week, Ovi was held without a shot on goal in back-to-back -back games for the first time in his career. However, in his most recent game on Saturday, he bounced back with five shots on goal. Keep an eye on the Caps' blue line as John Carlson is on a three-game point streak, and Rasmus Sandin faces his former team for the first time since being traded. Next up, the Boston Bruins head to the Windy City to play rookie sensation Connor Bedard and the Blackhawks. Bedard scored just 90 seconds into the Hawks' home opener and has four points in his first six games. He had at least four shots on goal in each of his first four games. Chicago will have a tough battle as the Bruins are off to another blistering start and are undefeated this season. David Pasternak has eight points and five goals, and Brad Marchand is right behind him with four goals and seven points. Pasta had two goals and three points in two games against the Blackhawks last season. Keeping the puck moving, let's head out to the state of hockey as the Edmonton Oilers come to town to play the Wild. The biggest storyline in this matchup is that Connor McDavid will be out for the next one to two weeks with an upper body injury. That's a huge blow for this Oilers team that is already struggling with only one win in their first five games. Two players to watch that need to perform to keep Edmonton competitive are Zach Hyman and Evan Bouchard. Hyman has two goals and six points in his past four games, and Bouchard had five in his last five. A standout for Minnesota has been Joel Eriksson Ek, who has three goals and five points in his last three games. We have to mention Kirill the Thrill, as Kaprizov has six points in his first five games, and Matt Zuccarello has notched seven points in that same span. It's time for a nightcap as all the hockey action wraps up with the Flyers taking on the Golden Knights at 11 p.m. Eastern. Philadelphia quietly sits on top of the Metro Division standings and Vegas is off to an undefeated start in their attempt to keep Lord Stanley in the fortress. Travis Konechny leads the way for the Flyers with seven points in his first five games. He's tied for the sixth most goals in the NHL so far with five. Defenseman Travis Sanheim had some key lineup placement on the top man advantage unit for Philadelphia. He also ranked second in time on ice per game in the entire NHL. Golden Knights defenseman Shea Theodore is tied for the second most points at the position in the league right now with six in six games. And center William Carlson is currently on a three game point streak with two goals and four points in the span. Vegas won both of their games against Philadelphia last season. That wraps up a special edition of 3 to Watch. Tune in again next week for the usual breakdown of three key matchups.